three, two, one. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for EJ Boxing Live. To this date. To this day, EJ Boxing Live here with YG Knight. We're going we're gonna to go into it today. Daniel Dubois versus Joe Joyce, or Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois. However you want to pull it, the weigh-in, they've, they've weighed in already on the scales. They've both come in uh, pretty, pretty good shape. And me and YG have been haggling and backwards and forwards on this for going in since the fight's been announced, since the postponements. I think they had two two postponements because of the COVID. Then the next time, I think they were waiting around. But we're finally here. In 24 hours, the fight will be happening. YG, my friend, how are you doing, first and foremost? Yeah, what's going on, EJ? What's going on, people? Everybody out there. I hope everybody enjoyed the holidays. Had some good food as, as I did. Oh, was the holiday was the holidays out here? What holidays was that? Oh, oh, well, you know, I'm in America, so you know, we had Thanksgiving over here. So you know, we, oh. we everybody, yeah, I'm good, and the family got together. You know, the minimum people that we we was allowed to have, and things worked out pretty good. A little bit of football on. But yeah, as EJ was telling y'all, we've been waiting for this fight. This is, you know, what I mean, the clash, the clash of the 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 you would say the second tier of the heavyweight division, yeah. like who you know who's moving forward. Even though another reason why I, I I don't really knock Joyce, it's really his age. And I know in this day and age we're not supposed to really say that, but being that he's at such an advanced age. And it's like, you know, with Dubois, he's so young, it's, it's room for development. Like, they, he, he's he's going to have a chance to really grow in the division where, where Joyce, he almost needs things to happen now. Mm -hmm. And that, and that's, and that's not the case. He's, he's, he's years away from a title shot. The uh, way so that let, me, let me ask you the question. Let me ask you the question because YG, why try and get to YG. So, right, me and YG been haggling it over. So, we're going to first break it down. I'm going for Joe Joyce and YG's going for Daniel Dubois. So YG, make a case for Daniel Dubois, um, why you think he's going to win. And you saw him on the scales, coming pretty light. Uh, Joe Joyce having him. Tell us why you think um, he's going to win the fight. And wh wh what have you seen over this time? And the fight, go on, let's break it down. Go on, YG. It's all you. With me, I, I've more seen the hands, the hand speed and... I feel the Dubois have a show excellent footwork, but I think his foot his footwork is gonna be just enough where he's gonna be able to get in and out of the danger zones from the from the juggernaut punches. So this is why I, I, I'm taking Dubois and I think um I believe he's gonna be able to catch Joyce when Joyce try to go to his body. I think he's gonna get counted upstairs and I think he's gonna end up if not getting him out of there, I think he'd get him off balance and knock him down a couple of times. So, what's, what what do you see about Joe Joyce, man? Like, I mean, I mean, is is it what you don't see about Joe Joyce? What makes you think? I mean, what what, what makes you think this guy's the next coming of the heavyweights? So I know he's pretty young. He's what twenty twenty one. He's quite young. So. Yeah, you see, yeah. So, be, and that's what I'm like, what I'm really looking at. That you know, if you look at the top of the division. You know, those guys are into their 30s. And he has room to, to you know, if he if he keep his everything clean and stay focused, he has he has space to be around. Mm. You were saying that about, you were saying that about Anthony Yard as well. You were impressed by Anthony Yard as well, the same kind of thing, right? But he's 23, by the way. But you're impressed by, you, you, I mean, he hasn't really knocked anyone out of Akshay. Well, yeah, because the, 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 the difference between the yard and uh, um, do we, are we calling um, Joyce um, um, Kovalev? Nah. Uh, I knew, I just was, the, the, the thing with the yard is, the thing to do with the yard is too is, I've already just seen that Kovalev was really at the end of his ropes. It, like, we all seen it. That's why Canelo... We had this discussion. I was already banked. I was on. I'm already on live on wax talking about this issue. That that's why even Canelo wanted to move up to the light heavyweight because they seen like the writing was on the wall for him. So 
I was more just banking on that yard had enough to get him out of there, but he, he, he yard still got stamina issues. Hopefully, Dubois is a little bit more, uh, um, I would say, in boxing shape to go those those the, the the distance, those hard those hard rounds, the championship rounds, because that's where you know if if you ain't prepared for that, that's where it can get you know, it can get sticky. All right, so all right, let's talk about the resume. So. A lot of times, yeah, he's been scheduled for 10, 10 rounds, right? I'm talking about um, Daniel Dubois. He's been scheduled for 10 rounds, right? So he's been, the max he's been scheduled for 10. I think for 2019, he's been 12. None of the fights have gone the distance at Kevin Johnson. So Kevin Johnson, he's done 10 rounds with Kevin Johnson. Um, he was trying to look for the knockout. It didn't happen. But, you know, he won every second round. He won, you know, easy points decision against Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson is definitely... A world class, uh, not a world class fighter, but a world class ca uh, container who always fights guys at that world level, European level, at that level. So that's a good win in, in the column for him, and definitely went the distance. But what you're, what you're looking at is when you look at his resume, it's pure knockouts. None of them go in the distance apart from that. But the caliber of fighters are not at the same level as Kevin Johnson. Having saying that, you still feel he'll beat the caliber of a Joe Joyce, who's been at world level in the amateurs and in the Olympic level in the in the thing and he's fought better level of pro professional fighters. Why do you but we, we know this the style makes fights so I'm banking on that he's just gonna be able to counter counter and 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 nine times out of ten get off first. Like we we've been down that road. You can't really look at he beat this guy, he been in there with this guy, that means he automatically could beat you because that it doesn't it doesn't translate to that style, the style and the fighter is which really was translating the ring. We just been down that road of who who Lomachenko been in the ring with and who Lopez didn't been in the ring with. Like all of that, you could throw that out the window because you just gotta look at the style, what what what's in front of you. Joyce comes straight in on a straight line and 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 Dubois is gonna have a chance to either get up first or counter him. All right, so Danny Dubois, level of opponents, yeah. Like to be fair now, right? Because you know he he hasn't really been going the distance either, but he's been a distance a couple of times, right? So he he's thirty five years of old. I'm talking about Joe Joyce now. That's the guy. So he's thirty five years of age. Daniel Dubois is twenty three. So that that does help because recovery and everything, right? Now he's only gone twelve rounds with one guy. That's Brian Jennings. Brian Jennings is is a, is a slightly a level or above like Kevin Johnson in my opinion, but Ustinov is you know he beat Alexander Ustinov. He stopped in three rounds, and Brian Jennings and the main Stavern, who was a WBC former world champion, he stopped him as well. So pretty, even though these guys are fairly old, but the thing is, I'm not on Joe Joyce. I think that most of the things all, all it is is people saying about his age, but I've been saying that with eleven opponents, with only ten knockouts. Yeah. These guys can hit. I mean, same with Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois with 15 fights with 14 KOs and he's younger. Most observers believe the dynamite kid, the dynamite, Daniel Dubois, double, triple D, triple duck. <laughs> I'm really playing. Triple D is going to win the fight, man. But um, I'm going to make a case why I think it, why Joe Joyce can. Joe Joyce has got a level, slightly a level of opponents. But this age thing is, is knocking. 35 is very old. Um, but he's got the work rate, he's got experience, but Janny Jabbar is very explosive, very young. And I can see why YG's picking him. I, I, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, oh, Hamid's right there. What's up, Hamid? Oh, is that Phil as well? Phil's there as well. What's up, Hamid? Hamid. Testing, testing. Yeah, testing. You're there, man. You're, you're a test. What's up, Phil? What's up, why? What's up, Hamid? Can you hear me? Hamid, you're live, man. Yeah, I can hear you. You're live. All right, all right, I thought it's mic issues. Uh, you can hear me clear, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Was it good? I got George, I got George's by points or uh, stoppage late. Uh, what, what have you got? I want Dubois to win. I've always said Dubois should win, but looking at the resume, I don't know. I've I seen a picture. The guys that Joe Joyce has fought, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, uh, Mad if someone picked either guy. Obviously, I'm gonna probably go in my heart and say Dubois should win this because he's the younger guy. 
Yeah. But you can make a very good case that Joe Joyce uh, maybe might win this fight, especially if it goes late. Also, amateur wise, Joe Joyce has been in with Usyk and Tony Yoka. I thought he beat Tony Yoka in the Olympic final, so I haven't got long. I'm going to drop off because I've been up since early. But I'm just going to say, um, I think Dubai should win. Really, on paper, if you're going to go by form. He should really win, but I don't know. Just looking at the guys that Joe Joyce has fought, look, he's fought. Uh, I know he wasn't that impressive, but Stavern, he's fought uh, Brian Brian Jennings. He's, uh, he's even fought. I think some. Well, let me just check one sec. He fought someone else that I thought I was surprised. I didn't. Know. Did he fought Ustinov as well? Yeah, Ustinov. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, and you look at the look at the guys Dubois fought. I know he's looked good, but apart from. A guy like Nathan Goldman, who well, we don't know if he was really that good, and maybe Kevin Johnson, he hasn't really beaten anyone. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I think this is a very close matchup on paper. Obviously, if I had to pick one or the other, I'd probably say Dubois. And I might be wrong as well because I'm not sure. Because if for Dubois, I think this could be one fight maybe too early. But if Dubois is as good as they say he is, then he should win. Um, I, I don't know about knockout. I couldn't see this maybe going late or maybe even the distance because Joyce is a big guy. He's going to be much heavier. And Joyce, I think, could make it awkward. But I could see a very a very a tough fight where Joe Joyce could actually end up winning. So it's definitely a fight that I think is intriguing. Like, you, it's one way or the other, you could make a case for either guy, but... Joe Joyce has definitely been the more battle tested as amateur and pro. And mm-hmm. if if you're gonna go by uh, experience, and Joe Joyce, maybe for him this could be the right at the right time, at the right fight, at the right time. But I think for boxing, it'd be better if Dubois wins personally. I think he's the future. That's if he obviously performs on Saturday. That's what I think. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> I don't think he's the future of boxing. I, I, I ain't rolling with him, bro. I can't. I no, can't. I said if he wins, if he wins, and he looks no, good. No, no, I can't do. It. I got Phil. I got my man Phil Walker in the chat. Look, man, <laughs> I, I don't think it'll be good for boxing. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. No chance, bro. Why, I think, why, why? I just don't it's know. Because, yeah, because he ain't. He, he, he ain't done the the necessary stop steps. I believe in I believe in incremental steps to get to where you need to, and I don't, I don't think I don't believe he's did that. I don't I don't I, I watch Daniel Dubois, and I see him resume being brought up. But let me tell you something: if he wins, yeah, I, if he wins, yeah, then boy, That's then, what I said. Then, to this day, if he wins, yeah, like I'll be shocked. I'll be sh- I'll be shocked. But then I know I reckon he's the real deal. If he goes ahead and knocks, shocked. yeah, if he, I think I will be. If he goes ahead and knocks out uh, 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 Joe Joyce, I think he's definitely the real deal because. Joe Joyce is a very credible and solid opponent, and I, and I I rate Joe Joyce highly. So if Daniel Dubois can go in and blow him out, yeah, then I I, yeah, I that's, I'll, that's, a that's a statement. That's a very big statement because again, he do you think he could, do you think you could outbox him or no? No, nah, I don't. With the, with the both they've only they've only both both of them only gone the distance once. Like he's only gone the distance against uh, Dubois only gone the distance against Kevin Johnson, right? And Joe Joyce is only gone the distance against Brian Jennings. Like I think Brian Jennings is slightly above. He's a bit more aggressive, yeah. Yeah, but and Joyce Jer- did go. Joyce went the distance in damages with a lot of top. Uh, no, amateurs. no, but I'm just, that's, no, yeah, I understand that. But I'm talking about yeah, but three rounds is not the same as in the pros. But what I'm saying is that as a pros, yeah, in the pros, like you know, Joe Joyce has got against better opponents. But this is what I'm saying. Yeah. He's 35 years of age, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm yeah. saying. Is is it better? Is it better if Joyce wins? I don't know how long he's got left. That's, with. Well, that's what a 35 years of age. Even me, my I can see why. Why is why is rubbing his hands together? Why is you still there? Because why? That's what. Why is why is like EJ, bro? I'll take I'll take you on the youngster any day. But having seen yeah. that, like, so, so your cool. Go ahead, why you go ahead. Yeah, YG. you know another thing that's brought to my attention too that we we gotta watch it that these guys that's um the the Loma Chingos, the Joyce's oh. that has the extra um amateur background. These guys stayed in the amateurs longer than other people and was basically fighting against people f- three, four, five years younger than them. 
like yeah. basically being grown men fighting against younger people. Like you can't like, yeah, he it is, it is good experience, but at the same time, when you look at it, like how much credit are you really giving the guy for doing that? Well, he should have been turned pro. Like he lobbying in the amateurs, beating up on young competition. And you yeah, know but uh, that's that's gone. That's just his personal choice. I just want to see EJ. Uh, uh, that I don't know. Maybe that could be a fact on Saturday. But one thing I will want to see is uh, Dubois. Has he really even been chin checked as a professional? Like we've seen nah. Joyce get. Nah, that's nah, the yeah. thing. That's what I'm trying to see. Now listen to this, I mean, I mean, I got I got stats to bring. Yeah? Oh. And Frank Warren smartly did this, right? The last time Jojo is for Jojo is for a competitive fight was Brian Jennings, yeah. That was in yeah. 2019, right? The next time he fought, yeah. The next time he fought is almost a year, a year, mm. right? Because because of the lockdown and whatever, a year against this that Michael thing and it, you know, free round he went to war and that. So he he's he's conditioning and he's old as well. It's gonna play a factor. Daniel Dubois, on the other hand, yeah, he's been more active and he's younger. He's been slightly been more active, but not against the same level of competition. Right, because of his last three fight, his last two fights, gets that a Japanese guy he blew out in December, and then he fought Ward, like, Ward. yeah, he fought two weeks. Two, two, he fought two. He fought two, two someone, months. someone, yeah, right, 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 yeah, that bum, yeah, some another bum. So he's just fought, I forgot he, with that guy. Yeah, yeah but he, he, the thing about it, yeah, he because you're young, yeah. This is nothing I realized. The same with Lomachenko, the younger guy, it doesn't affect him because. They're used to getting in bouts, but because of the older guy like Joe Joyce, it's gonna take him a while to get warmed up. So Joe Joyce has to, so Daniel Dubois has to do him early if he wants. To yeah, but the, but this is what I'm saying though. This is what I'm saying. Uh, when James Gill fought uh, Groves, similar to projection of this fight, they're both unbeaten. They're both young. Yeah. He lost. Uh, when Joshua fought White, he didn't lose, but he almost got knocked out against White. Dead. I think White may have had. Uh, just as much experience, uh, because I think he Joshua turned pro later. I know he did win a gold medal, but I'm just saying, uh, like, is this one fight too early? That's that's the question I got. Like, maybe it's not the bar, maybe prove us wrong. No, 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 it's wrong. Maybe prove some people wrong that the ones are picking Joyce or the ones who are a bit skeptical, but I could definitely see Joyce winning this fight because I think if Joyce loses, I don't know where he goes, especially if he gets blown out or takes a bad beating. For Dubois, I think uh, if it's a competitive fight and and even if he loses, he could come again because he learned a lot from him. But on paper, you got to look at the, some of the guys Dubois has fought, man. They, they've been no hopers. Like the guy, maybe that doesn't matter, but that's maybe something that you could look at and just see how who's been matched up better. So, style wise, I do think on the eye that I would lean towards Dubois. I just think choice is a bit too slow, but. Then again, like I said, the guy's uh, Joyce has fought. I think he's done well. I, I know he didn't look that good against Stavern, but I mean, the the fight I think he fought Stavern wasn't exic- exactly the best game plan. I think this fight, he'll have to be at his best and he probably will be. Yeah. I, I, I'm just... I'm just like it's, it's the fight is it's definitely got spins around uh, my man. Like I said, my man Triple A, what's up, what's up? We've got Phil Walker. So Phil Walker says, I think the knockout uh, I think the knock knock on Joe Joyce is that he's getting hit a bit too much. Uh, Triple D can can crack, yeah. But Phil, you I hope people drop this. So YG has got um, Daniel Dubois. I got Joe Joyce. You know what I mean by win. Hamid, put your neck out, Hamid. Who you got? Yeah, I'll go with Dubois, man. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Dubois. Let me think. Uh... Maybe Dubois late, although I think in actually, actually let me think, mid to late. Although I think, I think the later it goes, I think Joyce is the favorite. But yeah, I'll go with Dubois, the one I want, the one I want to win. I'll go with my heart, but I think this fight could go either way. It won't surprise me whoever wins. All right, um, Roy Jones done an interview on London Live, this this uh, London Real Live, yeah, this this the cover guy. I want you guys to listen to it, and then I wonder if you guys are gonna. You guys got a comment, so let me put this interview out here. It's, it's, pretty, it's a very good interview, actually. It's only a couple of minutes, so I'll play it from now. Exhibition, three minute rounds, then it went to six rounds, then it went to eight. Oh, oh, oh. Are the details of this, how does it change things? Well, it started out probably a three round exhibition, three minute rounds, then it went to six rounds, then it went to eight rounds, now it dropped to two minutes, then it went from 14 ounce gloves and headgear to 12 ounce gloves and no headgear. 
kind of exhibition is that? You fight Mike Tyson with 12 ounce gloves, which is only two ounces bigger than the normal fight gloves, no headgear, and Mike Tyson, and you call that an exhibition. And then you give him a two minute round so he doesn't get an opportunity to gas out as quick. So you make him more dangerous for a longer period of time, for a longer amount of rounds, but you're cutting rounds down in two minutes. Okay, so you're trying to make sure everything you can fix to fit Mike Tyson to make sure he's okay, you will make it like that, which is cool with me. I mean, just throw her in there, it'll be fine. Throw her in a sacrificial lamb, watch the sacrificial lamb go to work. Those two minute rounds, where is the leeway there, Roy? I mean, you know, eight two minute I'll rounds. Tell you, I'll tell you right now, but there's a lot of leeway in there, trust me. It's a lot of leeway in there. Okay. So he's saying, like, because it's two minute rounds there, uh, Mike Tyson can recover quickly. <laughs> yeah, hey, man, it's true though. But you know, if it's two minute rounds, yeah, Mike ain't gonna get that tired. You know what I mean? So they're doing things to make sure that Mike can recover, so you can whip, 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 whip your. Well, it's fair though, isn't it? It's fair. Huh? It's not fair. The, like the, the, the both fifty. Come on, but who's fifty? You ain't no one fifty. No one's fifty. Uh, Roy's 51 and uh, Tyson's 54. I'm just saying, uh, I, I think it's fair. Yeah, I get it. Roy could probably do three minutes, but... I did not older. Shit, older. Damn, really. Yeah, Roy, Roy's 51, man. There's only three years between them. What I'm trying to see, I think yeah. it's fair. You can't, you can't tell a guy who's been out the ring for 15 years. Uh, I don't know what YG and you think, but I, I think you've got to give a bit of leeway to Tyson. And personally, I don't think Roy Jones is anywhere near... What he was even when he fought uh, Hopkins in that rematch, which was in 2010. Like I, I, I think two minute, eight to two minute rounds is probably a good idea. Yeah. Although it'd be a, qu a bit quick for people that think that this fight, like uh, they want to see a long, you know, back and forth fight, uh, is going to be, you know, a quick fight. It'll be over if it goes the distance. It'll be over after I think, what is it, 16 minutes or something like that. So it's not a long fight. Hmm. Okay, who are you picking that? I think Tyson should win, but I don't know. I've heard the rules. I I don't know what the hell's going on with the rules. Some people are saying they're not allowed to knock each other out. But yeah, 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 not allowed to knock each other out. I, I can see Roy Jones dancing around him. If Tyson can't catch him, really, then I could see that. But I think Tyson is the bigger guy, and I, I do think Roy will get clipped. The people are saying Roy's and these are, are gone, and the way he fights, I think... I think Tyson should knock him out. It just depends. If Tyson is just... If if he's a guy that just looks good on the pads and his reflexes are completely gone, then I think Roy could just dance around him and maybe outbox him and just make him look silly. But the last thing to go is the power. So I think if once Tyson lands, I think he'll knock him out. But I just hope it's a proper fight. I hope it's not like where they just spar in... <laughs> you know, just pot shot in that. You know, is uh, I think it, it's something... Like well, Michael, a, Michael, 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 yeah, Michael, go, Michael, Michael, be going for it. Michael, some know. people view, you know, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 Michael, Michael, do, like, yeah, Michael, are you, are you, you got BT Sports, you paying for it, right? No, no I'll, I'll probably stream it. I don't know, I haven't thought about how to watch it. I was looking forward to the Dubai fight first, and then I'll, yeah, I'll see. I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just end up streaming it because I am kind of interested in it, but. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's worth paying for, but I don't yeah. know where you're going to get. I like the other card. I like, I like, I like the, uh, the, the YouTube the fight. The Jack's fight. Nah, nah. I like, yeah, the, I like, yeah. I like the Nate, Nate Robertson versus uh, the Jake Paul. I like that Jake Paul one. I like that one. I think that's a good... That yeah, yeah I, I, a lot of people are talking about that. Yeah, I think that's a good real scrap. YG, you got anything to say about the Mike Tyson thing real quick? YJ. Nah, I guess YG's why, why doing so. He must be eating something. Well, Hamid... And why yeah. you, we've made up we've made up addictions the people in the chat are listening on um if you're on archive you listen I really appreciate uh Hamid and the rest of the guys coming in it's go it's a full packed weekend of boxing uh we, we look forward to it and it starts off with these guys here and that's all that's all what matters like is the heavyweight chat let me ask you a question Hamid is the heavyweight landscape gonna change if either one of these guys win and you know what you know what what, what do you think the future holds for any of them? Oh, that's good. That's a good question. I think the winner of this could end up fighting Joyce, uh, not Joyce, Usyk. If Joyce wins, I think they'll put him in with Usyk because he's already fought Usyk as an amateur. Mm -hmm. If Dubois wins, I think Frank Warren, and it's a statement or a very good uh, win, I think Frank Warren will probably want to um, maybe 
make Dubois a target for a title shot or someone you know who's at the top of whatever at the top of the rankings because I think I think he knows with Joshua and Fury now look like on a uh, they're gonna be on a collision course he knows there's a chance some of the belts or one of the belts may be either vacated or a chance to fight for but I think for the division it'll probably be better if Dubois wins but that's Depends on how Dubois looks and how if he wins, it looks good. But you never know as a heavyweight. I don't think 33, 34, whatever is that old, but it's just I, I don't think Joyce will be around for much longer than about three, four years. With Dubois, if he looks really good, this guy could be around for maybe six, seven, eight, maybe even around to, up to 10 years, depending on how good he is or how good he looks. But I think this is. This is definitely a big fight for the every division. This uh, the winner of this will be the guy that people will be talking about after the whole was it Joshua and Fury when they get their fights out the way. But yeah, it's a good fight to look forward to. Hundred percent. YG, last words, YG. I guess YG, <laughs> YG, yeah. Well, I I think to anyone, yeah, who thinks that uh, Daniel Bar is gonna put gonna gonna win. This is what I say. <laughs> It's what I say. There we go. This. Here we go. Well, Joyce, Joyce is much bigger. Joyce, if Joyce lands, I want to see what happens. It's going to be interesting. Oh, Joyce yeah? is uh, Joyce weighed in. I'm thinking much heavier. I can't. I can't remember the exact weights, but Joyce is Joyce looks much taller as well. I don't. I don't think Dubois is six five. Either Dubois not six five, or Joyce is six eight or something. I seen a picture where they standing next to it. Looks like Joyce is at least two to three inches taller. It's not, I don't think it's only one inch between the two, but I mean it's every boxing, you never know. Maybe Dubois might just knock knock him out and chop him chop the tree down, but it, it should be interesting. It's a good fight and it's not on pay per view as well. Yeah, I, like I said, I say to anyone yeah who say he's gonna win, Mr. McMahon, yeah, no chance, no chance at all. That's a <laughs> That's what I say. That's what I say. Hey, and to this day, to this day, we're gonna get we're gonna get a great fight. Thank you, Hamid, YG. Yeah, they appreciate, it. and uh, we're gonna see when it comes to fighting that. Take care, guys. Peace. All right. Yo, you think you jumping on to?